Hello everyone this is Anuj from Gadget Cake Today we have with us another smartwatch from Noise and this time is the Noise Colorfit Pro 4 Alpha which is an AMOLED calling smartwatch and in this video we will do the unboxing and will show you the features So here is a box of the Colorfit Pro 4 Alpha In the front we have the picture of the smartwatch along with the name Colorfit Pro 4 Alpha written here And here we have few key features such as we have the 1.78 inch AMOLED display which comes with the always on display and you get the digital crown. And here at this side of the box we have more key features such as 24 hours heart rate monitoring, 500 nits brightness, calls and SMS quick reply, Bluetooth calling, aluminum frame, fast charging and this smartwatch is IP68 waterproof. At the back of the box we can see the color which is a deep fine and apart from that this smartwatch is available in a few different colors. The companion app for this watch is Noisefit which is available for both Android and iOS. And here we can see that this smartwatch is designed in India. The MRP on the box is rupees 799. However, the launch price is just rupees 3799. Now, let's open the box and show you the content. So, on the top we have the documentations and here we have the welcome card and this side we have the warranty information. and then we get the user guide which has the info about the features of this smartwatch and after that we get these noise stickers and here we have the smartwatch itself and guys the deep fine variant of this watch looks beautiful and the straps feel quite soft we will look at the smartwatch in a moment let's see what else we have in the box so in the box we get the charging cable which is magnetic and for charging it connects at the back of the watch so that's all we have in the box now let's look at the smartwatch closely Noise Colorfit Pro 4 Alpha is a premium looking smartwatch from Noise and looking at the design and build quality we find the design very good and like few previous Noise watches we get the boxy design but this time we have the aluminum frame which gives a nice look and feel and also this smartwatch doesn't feel that heavy looking at the straps the straps are also of good quality but i must say that this type of strap makes it little difficult to wear the watch and personally i'm not a fan of this type of design nonetheless design and build quality wise I really like this smartwatch and keeping in mind the pricing it's a pretty good looking smartwatch. Now in terms of the overview we have the 1.78 inch AMOLED display and we get the 2.5D curved glass. The bezels are also minimal and as mentioned earlier we get the 500 nits brightness and the always on display support in this watch. Looking at the right side we have the crown and it's a functional digital crown and below it we have the mic for calling and here at the back we have the sensors along with the charging points you also get this additional mic on the top for better voice calling experience and here on this side we have the speaker grill now let's turn it on for the first time so here it is on and for pairing we need the app noise fit and in the app just scan the qr code and then follow the instructions on the screen so here we have our watch paired now let me show you the features so guys the amoled display of this watch is amazing and it get pretty bright and crisp output The viewing angles are also good and it can easily match the output of AMOLED watches which are priced above rupees 10000. There are a couple of new features which I must show you now. So the first is when you cover the display with your palm it can turn off the screen and also we get the double tap to wake up the screen option which we usually don't get in a budget AMOLED display smartwatch. Now about the overview this is the watch face which you can change by long pressing on the screen or you can also use the digital crown to change the watch faces and here we have the default watch faces and you can also add more watch faces from the companion app swiping down from the top will show you the notifications and swiping up from the bottom will show you the quick settings and here we have the dnd fine phone brightness battery saving mode and the settings of the watch swiping left or right on the watch face will show you the quick apps such as heart rate spo2 sleep monitoring stress and here you also have a widget page to access the main menu you will need to press the crown button once and here we have the menu and guys about the ui though it's a 60 hertz display but there are few stutters and lags here and there the display quality is without a doubt very good but you'll notice some minor lags here and there but i think this can be improved with an ota update and one more thing you can also use crown to navigate in the menu and now about the menu first we have the activity and here you can see your current day's fitness data which includes step count calories burned and so on and after that we have the heart rate and guys we found the heart rate data accurate in this watch and then we have the spo2 monitoring and here as well the data accuracy is decent then in the menu we have the sleep and here you can see your last night sleep details and here you can also see the light deep sleep along with the rem data after that in the health functions we have the breathe by which you can do some breathing exercises and then we have the stress monitoring which will show you a score letting you know how stressed you are 
Now coming back to the main menu, then we have the noise buzz which has the calling function. And here we have the contacts which you can sync with the app. After that we have the dial pad by which you can make a new phone call. And then we have the call history. And about the performance, we will talk in a moment. After the calling features, then in the menu we have the clock and here we have the alarm, timer with some preset timers, stopwatch and then we have the world clock which you can set through the app. Then in the menu we have the workouts and here we have different workout modes and in total we get 130 plus sports modes. By default you will see 10 sports modes but you can edit this list from the companion app. After that we have the sports records and here you can see the history of your workouts. And then we have the reminders which you can set from the app. And after that we have the music control. And here you can control the music playing on your phone and you can also increase or decrease the volume. After music we have the weather and here you can see the current weather conditions along with the weather forecast. Then in the menu we have the watch faces, stocks which you can set through the app. After that we have the flashlight and the calculator which is again a pretty handy feature on a smartwatch. And then finally we have the settings. In the settings first we have the wrist awake which is basically the wrist awake feature and performance wise it works quite well. And then we have the option to enable or disable the tap to wake up which I have already shown earlier in the video. And after that we have the brightness settings and guys we don't get the auto brightness support in this watch but the 500 nits brightness output is quite good especially outdoors. After that we have the always on display option and as it's an AMOLED display watch you get the AOD support and in total you get 4 types of AOD watch faces in this smartwatch. Then in the settings we have the DND, ringtone and vibration settings and the menu view. You also get the auto sport detection in this watch and with this the watch will auto detect walking and running but this feature will consume more battery. After that we have the usual power off, reboot and reset option. So that's all the features we have in the watch and right now I can say that this smartwatch is feature rich but again we are missing the auto SPO2 and the auto stress monitoring in this smartwatch. And now about the compare and app noise fit, we have covered this app many times in our previous videos so I'll be just showing you the main features. So on the home page we have the health data and here you can see your current day's fitness data along with the historical data for heart rate, SPO2 and sleep. On the settings page we have the connected device on the top and below it we have the watch face store. There are plenty of cloud based watch faces and also we get custom watch face option. After the watch faces we have the notification and alert settings and here you can select the apps for which you want the notification on your smartwatch. And talking about it, here is how you get the call alert. So you can accept or reject the call or silent the call from the watch itself. We also get a quick reply feature which is very helpful. And now about the performance, the speaker output is very loud and the mic clarity is also decent. And guys, the secondary mic on the top was able to cancel the background noises for the voice calls. And here I was using the watch for the calls in the outdoors and the other person on the call was not getting any background noises which is pretty impressive. And now about the app alert, we get the quick reply support for the messages but we don't get the emoji support. Now coming back to the settings, then we have the health functions and from here you can turn on the auto heart rate and the REM for better sleep tracking. And also here we have few reminders and alerts. In the settings, we also have the option such as Google Fit integration, quick reply settings where you can add it or add a new quick reply message. And then we have the remote camera shutter option by which you can remotely capture photos using your smartwatch. So overall the Noise Color Fit Pro 4 Alpha is a premium looking smartwatch with good features. The aluminum body on this watch looks good especially with these chamfered edges. This smartwatch is really comfortable on the hand but personally I don't like the strap design but you can also change them with an aftermarket 22mm straps. The fitness data is also accurate, beat sleep, heart rate and also the SpO2. The battery backup is also quite good and even with the Bluetooth calling turned on, you can easily get around 5-7 to seven days battery backup with the modded usage. Also, you get the Insta charge support by which you can charge the smartwatch for 10 minutes to get 24 hours battery backup. The display quality is good and the AMOLED display output is indeed the best in this segment. Though you'll notice minor UI lags and stutters here and there. So in short, if you're looking for an AMOLED display calling smartwatch with premium design under Rs 4000, then the Colorfit Pro 4 Alpha is a very good option. And as usual if you like this smartwatch and want to buy one, then do check the buy link in the description below. So that's it guys, this was the unboxing and review of the Noise Colorfit Pro 4 Alpha smartwatch. Let us know if you like it and also if you have any queries or questions about this smartwatch then do let us know in the comment section below. So that's all for now, if you like this video then please press the like button and subscribe to our channel Gadget Gig for more videos like this. Once again this is Anud signing off and I'll see you in the next one.